Hi, this is Sean. And this is Mike. And this is Nerd Sense. Love it. You just hit record, so now you're gonna have to deal with this. You can you, you keep singing if you want, but I will okay. sing as much as I want. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, the beer is about to spill. Um, yeah, so this is the second week with um, these awesome new um, microphones, microphones and stuff. Uh, so it's me and Mike today, as usual, and then we have Joshua, and then we also have a very, very special guest as a, like a more of a referee slash assistant. Um, our our buddy Ray Harlow. Who, it, 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 uh, he's silent yeah he's a little today. shy he, doesn't he wants to be he, he wants to be called the beer bitch yeah the beer bitch I heard him say he's it. the beer bitch um so i guess without further ado that could actually be the first thing we talk about uh, we're gonna do a blind taste test uh, as i put it up on twitter for all you know all the listeners that listen to us on twitter all none of them all none of them except except when i posted the other day ray i didn't tell you this when i posted the other day that we were going <laughs> to do this taste test miller Coors started to follow the nerd sense twitter account <laughs> Don't know if that's worth worthy of a clap. <laughs> Actually, it probably is. It probably is. I don't think they realized that I was making fun of them. No. no. I like how your hashtags after that, like Miller Coors not, hashtag. Not real craft. Yeah, not real craft. Shit beer yeah. hashtag, all that stuff. <laughs> like, we're going to follow you. You like our beer. <laughs> and you really don't. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, we have four beers in front of us. Um, four little cups labeled one, two, three, four. Actually, so much. Did you already take a picture? I didn't know if you took a picture while you took the yeah, you poured. No, you didn't have to. No, I just didn't. Uh, I'm going to take a picture real quick before we start. So basically what we did... Want to use my iPhone so it's a better camera? Oh! <laughs> okay, you. <laughs> Ray has a shitty phone, too. Oh, yeah? What yes, is that? Galaxy S. Yeah, it's a shitty one. Okay. Yeah, put a better camera <laughs> than your iPhone, but anyways. Not um, true. Should I go home and get my Canon? Yes. Actually, yeah, for, for, the, for these, <laughs> yes. those, these freaking shot size yes, we'll plastic wait. cups. <laughs> we'll hold. <laughs> um, Pause. Boop. So we're going to do a blind taste test of uh, Bud Heavy, so Budweiser, the original Budweiser, uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon, Miller Lite, and Sapporo, which I didn't even, we originally were discussing this. We wanted to do Narragansett or um, Coors Banquet, but Coors Banquet is kind of hard to buy singles. And, and I couldn't find any there. When you said Sapporo, English. I thought that was... A, I wish we would have thought of that before. That's a genius idea. Well, I don't usually see Sapporo. Yeah. It's so, a, but I actually saw Sapporo yeah. and Singha. Yeah. I wasn't sure which way to go. Mm, it's, but it's I think good, Singha is a little drier. It's a little more ginger ale Yeah. No, it's a definitely a good... Um, this is, Easy to tell apart. I would have picked it out immediately. Yeah. So basically yeah. what we're going to do is we're all going to drink one. And then we're, we're going to go through them and then figure out what the best one is. Okay. Well... Know. Yeah. Want, this, 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 would be, this would be very exciting for our listeners. Do, do you want to do one and then? Why, why don't you go through yours and talk about it each, each sip? And Actually, then... what if we had? Um... You gonna write down each person's uh, guess? Oh, oh yeah, we gotta do what we think it is, right? We should do that too. Uh, oh, we're doing that? I, I, yeah, I think it's, that I thought we were just gonna pick which one we thought was the best. We should do that too, though. We should. Whatever one we think is the best, you put like in the middle so you can't negate yeah. Lady Camp. I haven't had right. Miller Lite, Budweiser. I haven't had any of these beers in years. Well, let's do the reviews, and then at the last thing, we won't drink at all, and then the last, we'll, we'll, we'll take, take a sip again and figure. If we, then just say what we think it is. Okay. So here's a... And then, uh, I'll, do you want to have video? No. Do you no, it's fine. No, okay. Right. So we all doing one together? Ray, do you want something to write on? Um, we can use the back of this thing. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to do one first. Cheers, homies. Smells like all of them. <laughs> True story. Mm. I know. What, I think I know what this is. I think I know what that one is too. We'll wait. Okay. Actually, do you guys want to have your own little notes? No, I don't care that much. This is gonna be fun. Okay. I'm trying the second one. Me too. No smell at all. I just got some head <laughs> on my nose. I think I know that one too. I have no idea what this is. I think I know what they both are. Pretty sure I don't pull them. Mm. Um, that one's warmer. I think I have an idea. Mm, time for yeah. third one. All right, just take a sniff. No smell at all. <laughs> no smell whatsoever. Shit, I might not know. The, all right, I don't know. I'm now I'm lost. Mm. Mm. Uh, I think that's okay. Fourth. The, only the first one had a smell. Get over here, you piece of shit. Alright. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
All right, can I get my guess to which ones are which? I'm probably wrong. Yeah, go ahead. I want to do. Well, well, do you want to do the guess? Yeah, just do the guesses first. All right, from one to four, my guess is uh, Sapporo, Budweiser, Miller Lite, Pabst. <laughs> That's my guess too. <laughs> mm. That's one, two, three, four, as far as like the numbers. Am I right? You're, 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 you're I'm the same thing. Isn't... All right, I'm gonna be different, but after you said that, I think I agree with you. But I'm gonna just go with mine. Mine's gonna be one is Pabst, two is Miller Lite, three is Sapporo, four is Bud. Uh, we are way different. Yeah, I don't know. I could be really wrong. Now we have to tell which one we like the most, right? Even though we already guessed. <laughs> I know. I, I, I don't know. I want. I don't know. I don't want to know which ones are which. So I want to guess. Yeah, which don't ones. tell us yet, Ray. All right. Uh, which one was? Which one was your favorite, Josh? Uh, I'm gonna give another sip. Me as well. These are a little bit flat, though. The Miller Lite and the Budweiser have been in my fridge for a while. So yeah, the Budweiser and the Miller Lights have been here for a couple of weeks, and the Paps and the Sapporo is freshly caught. Dude, these are all fucking horrible. Mm -hmm. I'm loving life. Yeah, you can, yeah, Ray, go ahead and drink the rest if you want. You're all, it's all yours. Yeah, I don't want any more of this shit. All right, what's, what's your favorite, uh, Sean? I'm going to go with one. I, I agree with you 100%. I go with one. I want to go with go ahead. Sorry. one, but I'm pretty sure two's button. I'm just more used to that, so that might be what's... I think one's the better beer, though. Okay, I mean, no, no, that, that they're any good, just... All right, so we, we, we universally say one was the best tasting? I think so. Okay. Well, no, yeah. do, do you want to rate it or do you want to know right now? No, we, 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 we did a test on which one was the, really the best one. Okay, yeah. you, you don't want to go, you don't want to make an order? I, I, I can't. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't right. want to sip them again. Let's, yeah, let's go. All right, Ray, tell us what okay. the... Okay, for the results, not one of you gentlemen... Got a single one correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's yes. awesome. That is we fantastic. have the same order? Yeah. Like the same? Wow, okay. All right. Not so a single order. Oh no, I'm one so scared. One was Miller. <laughs> Two the wow, was, <laughs> was Blue Ribbon. Three was the Budweiser. Wow. And four was the Spore. I wow. hate my life. That's crazy. So we, we all picked Miller. This was Miller, huh? Uh, Miller was our, our, in our guest. That's been it. sitting up in my f fridge for. Well, maybe, maybe I drink too much Pabst. That's why I was like, this tastes familiar. That's not a <laughs> Budweiser's for, for, too expensive for me. Then for a Pilsner, that's not a bad light Pilsner. And I've never yeah, been a fan of Pilsner. We just picked the light beer as the best one. And that's been sitting I in my think fridge that's what for it the longest. That, that's been <laughs> sitting in my house for the longest. Yeah. I haven't seen those cans that's in from, about a year. <laughs> that's from um, Kaylee's Christening back in May. Oh, okay. That went exactly the way it should have, because I wow. Miller Lite. If I was to pick one by eye that I hated the most, it would be Miller Lite. And I just we all just picked that as number one. I knew. I thought I was gonna hate Budweiser, and I don't even. Which one was Budweiser? Wait, which one was? Three was Budweiser. Yeah. Okay. Wow. The first one and the last one were my favorites. The first one beat it by kind of a lot, though. I didn't care. I didn't. Care I didn't for the care last for number one. four, and I, I do normally like Sapporo. Sapporo. Well, but I only use only get it when but, I go to. But just, not that this flavor to really any of these, but this has like the least. What four? Yeah, yeah, it has the least of the of the of the skunk. So taste. two was Paps, right? Yeah. I really thought Paps was Mill Light because I thought that was so bad. Okay, that's funny because 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 I thought it was sitting in my fridge for so long, it was going to be. I almost didn't know which one to pick, but I was like, yeah, I'll go with the one. Wow. So Mill Light and Paps. Interesting. <laughs> Miller Light just beat them all out. Good for you, Miller. Miller Coors. How about you? Uh, they do have like a better. This. That's funny. They do have the best can, though. That's that's a fact. Mm -hmm. they, they do have the best. I do can. like the retro can. Me so too. I'll give them that much. Yep. And I guess they followed us for a reason. So, um, fuck. <laughs> okay. Good job, I, I have to tell my Midwest friends that about this because, dude, I say they all all those beers taste the worst com equally, and I mean I I don't really change my opinion that much. Yeah. But I I think it was, number one was kind of clearly. <laughs> I didn't think any of them were the, as close to one as one. Yeah, I, I would never order this at a bar, but um. But now, if I have the choice, I know which way I'm going to go. Yeah, if if I'll still buy PBR. especially if like you go to a <laughs> place and all they, especially if you go to a place and all they have is shit beer, right? Yes, no, of course. Like, 
Well, uh, Ray's doing, I mean, he, he's a judge, but he's doing the wild card kind of vote. What would you pick? He's trying them all right now. My own urine. <laughs> True story, people. Now, True would, story. If I would have to pick one, I think I would go with all of you guys. You can say one. That's, that's interesting. I'm I, I honestly wouldn't have picked it. I would have, I would have said not Miller Lite because it's just like, it's a Pilsner, but with, in, with less flavor. But I, I really didn't feel like it had less flavor than the others. And only 96 calories. All right. <laughs> We, yeah. we, we, should have had like a, we should have had the Trogues as the wild card. Check on top of the fridge. You looking for a bottle opener? Yeah. So now we're going to open up something a little better um, than this. Yeah. Mike, it's in the fridge. Well, actually, I don't have an extra glass for Ray. Uh, Josh, is your water cup empty? No. Oh, down real That's quick, fine. though. It's just about empty. Hey, uh, do you want to have Ray go upstairs and get a glass? Yeah, do you want to go get a real glass for this? Oh, he, oh, he popped over a, a Rebel. It's fine. Okay. He can do the Rebel. Yeah, so, um, Which he didn't ask me if he could have one, but he had one anyway. He said, I'm having this. Oh. And you didn't, you didn't say no. So yeah, to watch this taste out of our mouths, Ray's having a Rebel Rouser. And um, we're going to have a growler from the brewery we always fucking talk about nonstop. Night Shift. It's called Absolution. It's their latest stout. Um, yeah, I'm taking off my pants. Good for you. So, Ray, what do you think of the uh, Sam Adams uh, Rebel Rouser Double IPA? Oh, well, it ain't no Miller Lite, that's for sure. <laughs> that drink has balls in comparison to that. No, Are you using that glass? I, I've had it before. Yeah, yeah well, I like it. I thought you usually use this one over here. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm anal, I know, but not that anal. We haven't done a stout in a while. No, I know, so I'm excited. Is this going to be like second dinner? <laughs> this is supper. I actually meant to bring over my uh, my last dragon's milk for us to eat split up, but I forgot. That would have been awesome. Do you want this one? Or? No, 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 dude, it's fine. Like I like I, I like when I first got these glasses, I drank out of these religiously, and then I, and the, I, I love both the glasses. And that so. came after, and then I started drinking out of that just because. Yeah, Ray, have you gotten into like various? What? I, I believe he said, "Stop asking me shit." So, Ray. <laughs> Have you gotten into using various glasses while drinking? He's like the audio various? engineer. He's like he's there and not there sometimes. Well, he's just here yeah. to laugh in the background. Yeah, yeah, right. and, and, and chime in occasionally, which is fine. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Um, so yeah, this no, is not. called Absolution. Um, go ahead and take a whiff. Not a big nose. Not big. No, the, the nose is actually a little bit unpleasant. It's sort of, it's a little skunky, I think, right. on the nose. Hmm. It's okay, chocolatey. Yeah, yeah, it's not the best stuff that they've done. No, it, it's actually kind of the more boring beer. Yeah, it's very normal for them. I, I actually, I like it quite a bit. I don't like the nose on it at all, though. So, I didn't want to tell you until after you tasted it. It, it, it is made with hazelnut coffee. Yeah, I, I can taste coffee. You can usually taste mm-hmm. coffee and stuff. You definitely get that. I think you get the hazelnut a little bit at the end. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. It's not till after mm. it goes. It, and the, the coffee is almost like a burnt coffee taste in the back. Yeah. But you can, you can definitely taste uh, some chocolate in there. Uh, the malt... Uh, really, really roasty kind of a malty taste. Yeah. Um, the body's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Right. The mouth feels very light. Yeah. Um, but the, the the flavor lingers a little bit, though. I mean, but it's not a, it's not what I was expecting. Honestly. Yeah. In in like I think I said in the text when I texted you, it wasn't what I wanted to get. I wanted to get their the Stafford Porter that they usually have, but that was out, and um, this was the only other. I definitely want to get a dark beer for today because we never do dark beers anymore. So I figured. Stop whispering over there. Yeah, you guys are weird. <laughs> but anyways, weird. um, oh, love them. Yeah, I, I would give out of five. What would you think for this? Out of five, I would say a three and a half, four. Yeah, three and a half. I I, I would go three and a half. Th- three, three and a half. Yeah. Like actually, yeah. That's when, cool. Like when I first tried it. I was because it was a new stout, and I haven't—I didn't even know that they were putting it on. Yep. And I was like, and I got the the the, uh, the the paddle, and I tried it, and I was like, I wasn't—I was a little let down. I was expecting a lot, because and then they the the new barrel society is a double mash stout, mm-hmm. which is freaking out of this world. Well, next time you do growlers, remember whirlpool. <laughs> I got a whirlpool that night too yes. for Carrie and I. Which one's this? Um, Absolution. Absolution. 
Um, you want to move on to our, our next topic? Yeah. Um, news. News. So um, on the board we have, do you want to just go in the order that we have the two news items? Yes, of course. So we have fantastic 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so fantastic four uh none of us have seen it yet but uh the reviews are absolutely abysmal awful 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 not awful. not bueno um from the first review that basically said uh, what was the what was the headline the, from the hollywood reporter they said something crazy like really bad um i can't remember the quote i'll, I'll look it up while when we discuss further but but, but the quote was very bad um, yeah, I, I'm I'm a little disappointed. Um, I really like uh, Josh Trank. His film uh, Chronicle was pretty outstanding. You know, um, he's been on uh, the Kevin Smith podcast the last few weeks. Uh, Fat Man on Batman, and he he's, seems like a really cool dude. He, he seemed like he had a really good grasp with the material. I purposely did not listen to those. I told you I listened to the first episode. I purposely didn't listen to the other two because I didn't want to turn out to like the guy because I thought the movie was gonna suck to begin with. Well. Uh, I wasn't expecting expecting it to be great. I was just expecting it to be better than the last two. You know, I don't even know. Uh, did anyone compare? I haven't seen any reviews that compared to the last two yet. Yeah, those last two are really bad. There's no way. I have seen some retrospective reviews of the last two, and it, they've just been just as bad. They, no one has come back and said, "Wow, this actually was a really good movie." No one really. No, they're really bad, and this movie's probably suffering from the fact that the movies are just getting better and better, and uh, yeah. Okay, here's here's the line I was talking about with Hollywood Reporter. Okay. Fucking American Express ads. I hate ads on websites that pop up and just ruin your experience. Yep. Here it is. Fantastic Four feels like a 100-minute trailer for a movie that never happens. <laughs> ouch. That's ouch, actually ouch, that's ouch. actually the most pleasant I've heard about anything. Uh, this I movie. did read one review that said um, it's a good movie at times and get up and leave it before the last 10 minutes. Oh, that bad? Because he said the last 10 minutes will make you hate it even more. Oh, fuck. Now, a few months ago, we spoke about uh, going to see this movie, Sean. I don't want to do it anymore. We don't want to do it? I think it? we should just wait and do it down here. I think it'd be funny if we got loaded and went to see this film. I think it would be even funnier if we got loaded and did a commentary without seeing it first. Oh, wait, we can't do that. We can't do the audio. Nope. You're right. It might actually I don't, be better. Who knows? I don't know if it's worth it, though. I don't think it's worth it. Like, if it's going to be this bad, it's not going to be. It's not going to. I don't think it's going to be this. It's not going to be. This is such a bad movie as like say Sharknado or some some B movie. I think this is just going to be a bad movie that we don't want to pay twelve dollars to go see in the theater. Yeah, but I don't want to go see a good movie loaded. I don't either. <laughs> no, right. I don't either. But if I want to see a, a really bad movie loaded in a movie theater, I want it to be. Like a B movie, I wanted to be like the Rift Tracks thing we went to go see when we saw Sharknado. Yeah, but there's no way you thought this Fantastic Four movie was gonna be a, a B movie. No. Well, but I thought it was gonna be a little. I thought it was gonna be at least decent. Okay, that's fair. I don't know. We'll, we'll right. discuss it further. I, I, I don't know. Okay, fair enough. Um, I guess I, I think the I think the saddest part about this is what you were saying about Josh Trank on the Fat Man and Batman podcast, where he seemed like a genuine nice dude and like he had a grasp on the material. But there were a lot of reshoots. So, so they what, went back what, and did a lot of reshoots. So where I'm going with this is um, the other day on August sixth. Uh, when did he? It doesn't say when he tweeted it, but at 10:08 p.m. it already said that he deleted it. Um, it says that was my phone vibrating. These mics pick up everything. It, he tweeted uh, a year ago. I had a fantastic version of this, and it would have received great reviews. You'll probably never see it. That's reality, though. Oh, is that what that was about when you sent that earlier? Uh-huh. I think I was pooping. So then it got care. deleted. The studio probably. <laughs> you, you think, you think the, sh- the, the shit I send you is poop? I always make sure to. I said I was pooping. Oh, so you, I didn't really. I was like more focused pooping, on other then things. I would have read it. I read it. I just wasn't focused. I was focused. But yeah, on other and, and 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 for someone that like, like off the if toilet. you really thought, felt like he was doing something good, like that's then that, that's why I didn't want to listen to Fat Man and Batman because I didn't want to like start to like the guy and realize now it seems like he got the shaft. Like, do you think he's gonna get his director's cut? No. Daredevil did. Yeah. Uh, I think Daredevil made money, though. So one of the rumors I read was that Doom was supposed to be a hacker. And that wasn't the case. And they're like, oh, I wonder if that was reshoots. Because um, one of the reviews I read, they said they were, they noticed a lot of um, off-screen dialogue and dubs. 
I heard that he was supposed to be a blogger. Maybe blogger hacker type thing. But Josh Trank said that it was never the case. Oh, okay. So, who knows? I mean, uh, yeah. I remember reading that Joss Whedon was planning on killing Doyle the whole first season of Angel. That, that's bullshit. <laughs> that was definitely a last minute decision. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was a fucking shitty decision. Well, to be fair, uh, Glenn Quinn had a ridiculous drug problem. Yeah, because he was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is what yeah. it is. But that's Fantastic Four. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll discuss it later, I guess, off, off, off air. But uh, I don't know if it's worth a wasted... It's not really a wasted night, but... Well, I think we talked about doing it as a matinee. Yeah, we did. Yeah. But matinees aren't four bucks anymore. They're no, still like they're I, went, I went today nine bucks. Yeah, I said nine dollars. It's ten seventy five with the thing, and then I paid four twenty five for a bottle of fucking water. I Damn. paid fifteen dollars for three sodas. I'm gonna shit my pants. Fifteen dollars, son. Wear cargo no, pants. Sorry, fifteen seventy five. Fifteen. I did actually, but I went at ten in the morning. I wasn't thinking to like bring shit in. I just wanted to leave work and go watch a movie. No, you, 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 you have to. You have to bring Carrie with you and make her bring her big purse. Well, the reason I went at 10.15 in the morning by myself was because I couldn't find any time to go with anyone. <laughs> yeah, you need friends. Well, I didn't know that, Ray. Next time I'll ask. <laughs> <laughs> Don't respond to Ray. If he's not going to respond back. <laughs> <laughs> Ray is almost spitting out beer. <laughs> yeah, so... Um... If we get one part of the conversation... Sorry, a conversation... It doesn't count. Yeah, good point. Good point. Good point. Uh, is there anything else you want to say more about the Fantastic Four? No. I, I think we said a lot of our opinions before with the trailer, so I don't think there's any more we need to say about that until no. we see it. Fair. That's fair. Okay. Well, uh, now next up was uh, Deadpool. Yeah. Um, they released a trailer for a trailer. Well, the, well, not a trailer for a trailer, but like a like a, a warning for a trailer. Yeah, where basically Deadpool <laughs> talked about the trailer was coming, and then. They released a new Fantastic... Going back to Fantastic Four. They released a new Fantastic Four trailer, which I fast-forwarded through to get to the Deadpool end. He's like, if you go see Fantastic Four, you'll see my new trailer for no extra money. And like, he said something about a penis touching or something like that. But anyway, it was, it was Deadpool. I'm going to go touch myself now. Yeah. Did you see it? No, but that was at the end of the trailer we saw, too. Oh, that yeah, that one. But um, yes, the full trailer is... Yes everything and more of what we wanted actually Ray did you see you don't have to respond just nod your head did, did you see the, the, the leaked Comic Con trailer yes I did from the cell phone yep yeah Definitely. that actually sounded a little more funnier like it seemed less serious not serious not that this was serious but it seemed like it was a little different it actually had a different scene in it too I don't know if you caught that which one where he meets up with uh, Colossus and um, oh, I didn't catch Megasonic that Megasonic Teenage Warhead is it I didn't catch oh, that oh the girl and she tells Deadpool that and mm-hmm. Deadpool is like Megasonic, what? That's the coolest fucking name I've ever heard, or something like that. I, I remember that, yeah. I remember that now, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right, right. But either way, yeah, the the, the latest trailer, the, well, the, well, the official trailer that they released was out of this world. Like, yeah. It, it's, it seems like this is a really good grasp of the character. Yeah, it's perfect. I think you know? it's... It, it's just, like... I don't know. This seems like the most faithful thing we've seen in a while for any comic movie. And I know there's, you know, all these Batman movies and stuff like that. This you know, we talk about the new Batman stuff probably more than we should, but this definitely seems like the most faith, faithful adaptation well, uh, of a character. Maybe yeah, not, I don't know about the story, but you know the story, but of a character we're gonna get. I also like his uh, white eyes. Yes, yes. There was one thing me and Michael talked about like yesterday or something, and uh that we didn't care for is when the guys like will make you a superhero you know like ah oh, that was so stupid yeah but again that, I think that's Deadpool again that was the other guy I'll make you a superhero the guy that offered to give him the powers and stuff but you know what that leads into that joke where he makes fun of himself yeah about the in, in the Green Lantern yeah yeah that's what I yeah, meant that's what I meant but I don't think it's gonna lead into that in the film I think it, it, for the trailer it led yeah, into the, it yeah the cut is probably yeah you know I, but it, it does lead to an awesome joke. And another thing, I, I, the only thing that, that did worry, not, I wouldn't say it worried me, like, I'm really hoping that they don't show as much as him not in costume. Oh, I know, Because yeah. when they showed, like, him with Marina Backerson, Becker, and, and um, they don't really, they don't need him. Marina like, Backerson's in this film? Yeah, that was her who Copy. he was. Copy? Yeah. yeah. Did I completely miss that? Did I completely miss that, too? Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know this, but... Uh, Me and Michael I, like her more than you do. I've, I've had a lifelong crush on her. I don't know about that. I do. I had a crush on her before I knew who she was. 
before I ever saw her. I was in love with your dick before I ever met you on at the pool in high school. Very mature. Very mature, Sean. That's that's the weird place to meet a guy, man. What shorts? Tell me about it. That's exactly where we met though. Yeah. On the I on bet. the bleachers <laughs> next to the pool. <laughs> yep. We both made an excuse not to swim so that we could sit next to each other. Finger each other, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, yeah, oh, that's... That, we, that's we talked back. about corn the whole time. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Corn yeah. holding. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. That just happened. We are sad people. Anyways, yeah. So, that's Marina Baccarin. I, I, I literally have no yes. idea what you're talking and, about. And um, th- it, it showed a scene where he was making out with a chick on a wall. He slammed her against the wall. I think they were Oh, that was her? her? That was Marina Baccarin, yes. Uh, no kidding. Yeah. Her Dibs. Name? So she's doing Gotham. She's doing <laughs> this, and uh, she's she, she's she's cross pollinating both universes. She was also in uh, Daredevil. Daredevil. I'm pretty sure. Nope. You sure? Yep. Nope. That was that that was Rosario Dawson. No, you think of someone else? She was in Homeland. I can tell you that much. I know that, but not for. Uh, and she was I, not seen, in Daredevil. So I've seen Daredevil like twice. Are you talking about the movie or the TV show? Neither. I'm just asking what Ray's talking about. They're, it's Michael's favorite movie and his favorite I know, TV show. I know. Really? You like that movie? The director's <laughs> cut, dude. The director's cut's a good film. You don't like it? I never watched the whole thing, but the parts I, I watched, I did not sorry. like. Commentary. <laughs> well, when I, in rewatching it recently, like uh, especially the films that have come out the last couple of years, it doesn't hold up as well. But when I when I watched it back in like '07, I, I really liked it. I watched it recently. It wasn't bad. No, it's just it just when it came out, um, I didn't see it. I saw it when the director's cut came out, and I would have compared it to like the, any of the Spider-Man films, honestly, those old ones, you know, or even like the X-Men films. I thought I thought yeah. that was as good as yeah, those for sure. But um, I have still never seen the, the theatrical cut, so. But I do know there's like uh, the director's cuts. I think forty-five minutes longer, but yeah. it's also. Uh, like 15 minutes of footage cut out so it's like a full hour of extra footage or some yeah. shit what'd you do what the fuck did you do kick the table <laughs> <laughs> ah fuck myself um yeah so the Deadpool trailer I think is is February which um I can't wait I'm gonna definitely see that in theaters hopefully the first week or couple days yeah for sure I'm, my days of going the first day are over <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, I, no, I go like I third really, week. I <laughs> really, really liked The Avengers the night before. 7 o'clock? Oh, that was fun. That 7 was o'clock cool. on Except Thursday? Except for that, that guy that was time. literally emptying sewage into his pants every three and a half minutes <laughs> right behind us. And I was, thought that was you the whole fucking time. I knew you were going to. Because it, it hit me and then I, I watched everybody's face kind of like in turn <laughs> yeah, right. come from my direction. Because Age of Ultron and there was a dude behind us just like farting the entire time. I'm pretty sure it's it more than farting. So he was dumping oh. shit onto that seat continuously. It smelled so bad. It, it was literally the most unpleasant experience ever. Like yeah. Every and we were watching it in 3D, and that kind of sucked. Yeah, the 3D was terrible. I just was terrible. Jesus Christ, we need to get a new table. You need to just stop kicking it. I know. Okay. Anyways, uh, and what maybe else get we a new table. Yeah. What else do we have for news? Yeah, we really do need a new table. This thing is like. Those are the big ticket items. I mean. Um. Do anything else we missed? What else is happening this week for news? Uh, well, you, you wanted to talk about the the uh, Ben Affleck movies it got postponed, so we can work on Batman. But you said you didn't want to talk about that. But now I guess I'll bring it up. No, I didn't want to. I didn't <laughs> want to talk about. Um, oh, the other thing. Okay, so um, they Warner Brothers actually delayed Ben Affleck's next two movies. They didn't say why. Um, the last the one, going rumor is. the last one, they already got delayed once, but they delayed his other movie too. So the rumor is, they want him to maybe fast track Batman, and maybe star in three Batman films. Yeah, but the one thing I was thinking about that is, I know we're going to talk about Batman again. We're gonna, I promise we're going to make this quick. We're going to make this quick. Go to the next segment. I promise. We're not going to do what we usually do. Uh, the one, the one thing I have is that Batman. They're, they're, they're making Batman v Superman, right? And they're making it so that Batman's been going on for twenty years. Batman's already been a superhero for twenty years. Ben Affleck looks like an older Bruce Wayne. Mm-hmm. Are they really going to make Batman? Are they going to make the Batman, um, the Batman um, movies? They're going to make it prequels or after, before, after Justice League, in between. Are they gonna like go back and be like, "Hey, this is when he started. We're just gonna like." I don't think they'll go. Ben Affleck's hair. I don't think they can go back that far, but they can definitely go back ten years. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, easily because Jared right. Leto could look younger or right. older. But, now, but are the sequels going to be? Are they going to be sequels? Are they all going to be prequels? All well, sequels? Well, I, none of them are even in pre-production yet. I know. Let's... I know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm done speculating. But 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 I did hear what what Ray said. And he made a good point for news. I did. You said the Flash, right? There's the Flash. Yeah. Wally West has been cast. Yes. Um, I forget the guy's name, but that means we're going to get three speedsters this three speedsters this season. Yep. And Hawkman's been cast as well. And Vandal Savage. The guy that plays Vandal Wait, Savage looks pretty... Three speedsters? Barry. Yeah. Jay Garrick. Wally oh, West. Oh, Garrick, I forgot. It. Yeah. But Wally West, isn't that uh, Bart's nephew? Wally West Barry's is, nephew? is Iris's brother. Oh, really? So they said there's been no other West, so it could be that. I guess in also another alternate timeline, he's a different relation. So it's possible. That okay. It could be different. Oh, it's Bart Allen. It's like the nephew or some yes, shit. Bart okay, Allen. that's what it was. Okay. So Wally West is the kid. Is going to be Kid Flash. He did finally take over as the main Flash too. Yeah, well, I know he did yeah. later. So it, I, unlike unlike Justice League, the show wasn't that Wally West. Yeah, Wally West was um, Justice League Unlimited and whatnot, and the cartoon did Bruce Timm. Yeah. A show I rarely watched because I didn't like it. It was a good show. Did you like you you, you like the the Batman animated series, Superman, Justice League cartoons, right? Like the. I didn't watch too much of it to be honest with you. No, mm-hmm. fine, fine. I did watch it, but not. I wasn't like into. I can't win down here. Cause. Oh, I like Batman. Oh, okay, that's fine. So did Mike, but no one likes the Justice League. I need to get Joel on here to actually. I didn't hate it. I just didn't like it. Mm. Fair enough. It it was not horrible. I just didn't want to watch any more of it. Okay, fine. That's fair enough. I I didn't like I didn't go on my Twitter and just like it's like what the fuck. <laughs> I don't think I ever did that either. But well, that's because you're lazy. Oh, fine, fine. You know what? I'm gonna spam your fucking Facebook page tomorrow. I've I've literally made one Twitter post ever. I said Facebook page. I've Same made thing. like twelve Facebook posts this year. You're still gonna have to see on my posts. Fuck. <laughs> Not if he logs off. I'll email him. So this morning, is, uh, if no one noticed, Sean went to go see mm-hmm. Ant-Man, finally. I did. Um, it took whiles and whiles um, to go see it. Mike and I were supposed to go last night, but uh, my parents went to an open bar instead, which probably would have done the same exact thing. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. From two to nine, yeah. I think, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Can't really, can't really fight that. But um, yeah, so I finally said, fuck it, went by myself for the first time in the movies by myself. And you know what the weird thing was? I was going to tell you this earlier, but I'll just say it on fucking air. I don't give a shit. I, I was sitting at home this morning working before I was leaving for the movies, and I was thinking, who goes to the movies by themselves at like 10 in the morning? I've like, done it. No, 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 okay, fine, you've done it. I, I never I've had it. it. I, I, didn't, I didn't know you've done it. I, I didn't know you did it. Have you done it? No. I, I didn't know anyone that's there. I know like people that have done it, but not like early early movies. I'm like, am I going to be... And I like Because you know how with, with AMC you can reserve your tickets. So I reserved the tickets. All seats are available. I just looked last late last night just for shits and giggles. There was one other person that finally bought a ticket, like, and he bought it like literally directly diagonal behind me. I'm like, that's fucking weird. <laughs> so he can hit, hit you with spitballs. Yeah, right. And his so other balls. I'm thinking this morning, and I'm working, right? And I'm like, and I'm like, who goes to movies? And I'm thinking, I <laughs> shit you fucking not. I start wondering if maybe people that go to movies at 10 a.m. like by themselves when there's an, if the movie they know the movies are going to be. What if it's like this, like gay hookup thing? <laughs> I'm not fucking kidding. Sean's up running in with his pants on. No, and I'm like, what if I go there and there's just one other dude there, and he thinks like I'm there because there's like some unknown like sign. And then I'm sitting, I sit down today, right, and I start like um, kicking my foot back and forth, and I'm like, what if this is like a sign for like come over here? And I'm like, sorry, I'm literally like f- not freaking out of my mind, but like you know what I mean, like the like I'm just like losing myself in in. In, in my thoughts mm-hmm. of this craziness. You know, what, uh, you know what, like, gay panic means, right? <laughs> Spit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that took a while to swallow. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's what he said. But no, I ended yeah. up watching the whole movie in peace. Um, and, the, and, and you know what the weird thing is? While panicking the whole time. No, I didn't panic the whole time. Just till the movie. No, not to the movie side. But to, to, the, to, the, to the trailers. Anyways. <laughs> to the guy stop hitting me in the back of the head with his dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, Turn around, buddy. But, <laughs> Turn around. Oh, shit, the movie's starting. I'll sit down. 
<laughs> but anyway, fifteen minutes. Also, fifteen minutes of trailers, which is fucking ridiculous. I don't remember ever fifteen minutes of trailers. Uh, I can re- remember seeing movies with you with fifteen minutes Probably. of trailers. Isn't that the standard? Anyways, the, the, actually, there was, there was one other person in there. You must have bought the tickets after I saw last night. So there was one other person there. All we we're all like diagonally lined up. None of them, neither of them, stayed till the credits. Hmm. It's like what did you come see the like. They left before the end of the movie, or they just, no. They left. Um, they didn't want to watch the credit scenes. Yeah, I, I guess. And then um, I tried. No I, offense. I, the, 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 oh, I know. I know. The scenes are yeah, interesting, but like I actually they don't thought do about. Shit. I actually thought about getting up and walking out too, but I was like, eh, fuck it. I just I'm here, yeah. right? And then I stood up and I saw the woman like cleaning the, cleaning the popcorn shit off the floor, and I was like, hmm. I guess they didn't care. No panic with her, right? No. <laughs> There's no, no worry there. No. Jeez. No. Wow. I wonder why. I wasn't worried I was gonna jump her bones. <laughs> <laughs> that was Sean's word the whole time. What if I accidentally fucked this guy? Like, without him knowing. <laughs> That's the shit that goes through my mind. Yeah, Sean's not used to enjoying sex, so. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I hate you. Uh. Oh, man. Um, yeah, so I saw Ant Man. Um, actually, well. Right, you're, you're you're here. Do you care if we talk about it? We're gonna talk about it regardless. I don't, I don't mind. mind. You don't mind? Okay. All right, yeah. all right. Let's stick around. Um, you're already talking about dicks and stuff, so I'm good. Yeah, but you already know what a dick feels like in your mouth. It's not a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, but Ray already has an erection. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's been there for the whole time. <laughs> yes, it has. I'm in man in the pants. We all are. Yeah, true story. True story. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, uh, what was your overall impression? Um, it was good. It was good. Um, it wasn't the best Marvel. It, pretty much what you said. It wasn't the best Marvel movie. It wasn't the worst Marvel movie. Um, it definitely had the vibe of Ebediah Stain. Obadiah. Obadiah. Whatever. Obadiah <sighs> Stain. You have no idea what you're talking about. I know. Fuck it. I don't care. But it was. You know what? I, I liked it. The fact that it was. It was. It was a fun movie. It was fun, and um, it gave you. It just showed you a little sliver of of more of the Marvel universe that was unattached from everything else, which was refreshing because we haven't gotten that. Everything else has been... Guardians massive. has been. But, but Guardians always had Thanos as the overarching... Mm. He was always... I would say, honestly, that Guardians is the most removed, in my opinion. Because Thanos has been a non-factor in all yeah. the films. But he's always, been that. he's always been looming over the whole... He's always been the, the puppet master. Maybe. He's been pulling the strings. Well, for Avengers 1, sort of. That and that's of, about it. That we know of. Okay. Let's look. Let's look at the text. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't. Yeah. Anyways, but but no, but I mean, I I thought it was fun. I I, I liked it. Um, but it, it did have the the same cookie cutter. You know. It was very much like what you expected. Right. But but I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it. I. I thought it was it 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 was. It wasn't. It it, it was charming at times. Well, what do you think of the villain overall? Um. I like I like what's his face um what's his what's his real name what's his I've never seen him before oh he's been in a bunch of stuff he was in um, House of Cards he never was now it. starring in The Strain never saw, saw it. it The Strain's Guillermo del Toro's book slash now TV show oh and, and I heard of yeah, that it's very good okay um but yeah I like him but he was a very weird villain because one minute he was very seemed like he actually cared and I, I think at the point you know, obviously they're playing on him being deceptive and trying to yeah but uh, what are you looking for he was also Want more of that or he was just stereotypical villain like he wanted the money he didn't care like he's fucking sold the Hydra for Christ's sake yeah which speaking of Hydra the opening of the movie was probably one of my close to one of the top five favorite parts of the movie yeah, actually, that was really cool. Um, 1989 show in an older I was, Kelly I was, Atwell. I was a little weirded with... An, I mean, that's like the fifth actor to play that, that character now. Or the fourth. Old Stark? Yeah. But he played him already once. What did he play with? Wait a minute. Iron Man 2. That was the same actor? Yeah. I didn't John Slattery. I didn't know. Yeah, remember with the video? I, I don't remember, honestly. Yeah, no, that's the same actor. Because they hired oh. him because he's, he's, he's the older Howard Stark. And Dominic Cooper is the younger Howard Stark. Yeah, but so the, someone else played Howard Stark in like a little bit of Iron Man One. N- no, it was only on a magazine cover. It was a picture. I was reading somewhere before there. I mean, because I haven't seen any. It of could that. be deleted scenes. Oh, but it was a picture. Yeah. Okay. 
Fair enough. Um, and I agree with a lot of the reviews that a lot of people are saying that they expected Michael Douglas to like just kind of like mail in his acting role, but he actually did pretty well for being so old and how old is he? Ninety now? Decrepit? Ninety two, I think. And he's I'm pretty dead. sure he's already dead. So yeah, he's been dead for three years. Yeah, it sounds he's, about right. He's just yeah, been so definitely sounds about right. Been burning it. Um, it's just Donald's pulling strings. And I thought that. <laughs> and I That's thought funny. Some of the cinema, <laughs> like some of the shrunken s- cinematography, was cool. It was like it was like if, if they made a Honey I Shrunk the Kids now. Yeah, especially the ants. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. The, when he was in the grass. Yeah. But but, a, but there were some parts that made me go like that made me go plot holes. Like remember when when he couldn't when when he got all frustrated and couldn't get the ants to work and then he went to go talk to her in the car. And then he put the, she's like, make him do what you want to do. He put the penny down and he put the thing on and it's like, what, what, the, the ants are coming out of your air conditioning. Did you, do you just, do you have ants in your car? Everywhere. Yeah. Well, just they, have they ants just all the time? Of, you just keep them in your car? You just have a storage compartment of ants? Well, remember the part where, uh, where he, he is, uh, he's shrunk and he's breaking into the lab or whatever. And, uh, the villain knows about it. Yeah. And he's like, look who it is. And he, he knows all about him. Mm-hmm. When the fuck did he find out any of that information? Is he like telepathic? He said he put two and two together when um, he noticed that Pim went to the prison. I'm pretty sure. I got up to pee at one point. I don't remember anything that would have led to him knowing. Yeah, bet that's what you're doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the other guy get up to go pee too. <laughs> Is that how you missed half the movie? I hate you. <laughs> you did this to yourself. Yeah, I know I did. Uh, no, no, he actually stayed in his seat. Um, anyways. Don't sound so upset about it. He sounded so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I winked at everything. <laughs> it was Sean's too dark there for... grabbing himself, <laughs> winking at the guy that's in the eye. He's like... doing all the things he thinks he needs to do. <laughs> like waving his head, <laughs> flapping his wiener around. <laughs> Going like this, pointing down at his head. <laughs> Tapping his heels together. <laughs> There's no place like home. Game, There's game, no game, place like home. Warming up sausage and beer fest. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> this keeps getting derailed really hard. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> That's and as much said. as I thought the uh, the fight with him in, in Falcon was very forced. Very um, like a late addition to the script. I really liked yeah. it. I really liked it. I thought it was the cool. movie was just because of what it was. Just because it was the movie would have worked completely without that scene. Hell yeah, hell yeah. It would have. I thought it was neat that they brought him in just to yeah. Kind of that's bring, a, to that, bring the universe. That's why I liked but, it. But I also thought the weirdest thing was at the end when when, when Falcon's like, Let, let's make sure Cap has to find out about this. Yeah. Scene. You just had like probably like a fucking high level fucking breach of an Avengers base, and he stole something, and yeah. you're gonna like go, hey, whatever. We're not gonna tell anyone. It's cool. Yeah, it was pretty stupid. It's like, just because the guy acted like he was a nice guy and whatnot, there's been plenty of, like, suave villains who have, like, good personalities and stuff like that. Like, like Obi. Who's Obi? Obadiah Stane. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, no, I don't even mean that. You mean, like, the Joker? Yes, no, the I'm Joker, definitely. definitely. Anyways, yeah. I, <laughs> I hate you. Shooting. Just checking. Well, what would you think? It was Order. okay. It was ho hum. Uh, some of it was funny. I thought some of the plot was pretty nonsensical. Um, I think the movie um, rested too much upon Paul Rudd's charm rather than through plotting or pacing. And um, I think that's problematic because essentially Paul Rudd played Paul Rudd. That's. It. I thought it was fine. He did play the no. same person he plays in every movie, but. I didn't hate it. I, I'm wondering how he's going to fit in with the rest of them in the, the later films. You um, know? I think that's going to... I think that's going to be fine because I think the more bigger problem they're going to have is how is a 16-year-old going to fit in with them? Yeah, that's true. Um, the one big plot hole I did not like was at the end when they're all sitting at the dinner table. Oh, the ant? No, no. That, oh. That's whatever. A big. The, they have a big pet ant. Oh, the, the, the jailbreak thing? When he's like... Yeah, so I just told my chief that uh, there was a short circuit on the fucking video feed. And it's yeah. like, you called an all-points bulletin, five-mile radius fucking barricade, and you're going to tell him that, oops, we looked at a monitor, and you didn't see him in the cell? You didn't think to go run to the cell? 
Like, that's fucked up. How yeah, about, like you can just decide that as if there's not going to be an investigation yeah, and shit. You know? Yeah. How about the answer counting down from five, four? He's looking at the suit, and when he gets to zero, yeah. he's already in the suit and he's shrunk. How, how do you yeah. get in that suit so quick? It's like, no. You don't. That's how. They should have did a countdown from 10. It would have been a little more believable. Uh, or 30. Or, or like a minute and a half. <laughs> like, that looks like a little a hard suit to get into. Yeah, it's, it's pretty skin tight. But they yeah. they painted, on, painted the suit onto him. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, it, it, it was it was definitely a fun movie. Like the the the, the daughter stuff seemed a little rushed at times. Um, uh, she was she was charming. I mean. She was she was definitely charming. Um, I, I I was actually the whole time I was like this is just it it, it, it hit me like because like and I was thinking I'm like there's a lot of things like whenever I see movies with like kids now and like stuff happens with like they can't see their kid like it always hits me like at home because obviously now I have a kid so I'd like I, I think I get a little more emotional now when it comes to that stuff so like that's how they can like reel me into a movie easier because I'm a fucking sap when I see a kid in a movie I automatically hate it more yeah because you're 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 a heartless human being <laughs> also because kids can't act worth a shit nope and it, it's always unbelievable to me but you know who can dogs ever see Air Bud yeah yeah, yeah. Ever <laughs> see that fucking ant? You see that fucking giant ant? I I, I want to know who that who that trainer is. Me too. He's a good. How'd you get a giant ant? He's Shit. a good trainer. Um, but I, I like seeing the microverse too. The microverse is really cool to kind of like. Yeah, but it, nothing nothing about that was explained really. I heard it's going to be explained further. Okay. I think I think Doctor Strange may go into it more. What I, I I'd also see like to see explained is why uh, Judy Greer got such a shaft on the role. She's a really good actor. She can handle way more dramatic weight, and she just got shit to Which do. Which was Judy Greer? His ex-wife. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I was shocked that she was actually in it because she's now just doing TV and like other stuff. I like her though. Yeah, she's really funny. She was yeah. also in that really shitty movie. What was it called again? Oh, Jurassic World. Oh, was she? Yeah, she was the kid's that. mother. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, it was I haven't her. seen Jurassic World. Good. Have you oh, seen Jurassic no World? shit. You have? Yeah, I but. I regret not seeing it in the theater. I downloaded a very crappy version. Oh, I regret really? seeing it. So I regret seeing it at all. <laughs> yeah, ch- yeah, no, no, I, yeah, but uh, and, and there's no way that she's gonna come back. There's no way that she can have an expanded role. No, but she's a really strong actor. They they could have used her honestly, uh, to play uh, Pim's wife or something, and brought her in a sequel. To, yeah, that would have been kind of cool. Because she's a really good actor. She's really funny. Yeah, because eventually and Lily, she hasn't been doing anything. Nope. Well, no, 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 no. I no. mean, oh, like Pim's wife. Oh, back in the right, mm, right. Like b- because uh, this they're gonna pay that off eventually, I think, with her. She'll be back. Yeah. Another curious thing is when they come back in like reverse, are they the same age? And th- yeah, that's what I'm getting yeah. at. Like, uh, and if, if, when that happened, oh, by the way, real quick, someone said that that was the rocket that uh, Captain America. Remember when Captain America was, was in the ship and the rocket got sent off? No, it wasn't. It was an ICBM. You can see it was a white okay. rocket. I, I don't remember the scene that well. No, because they said that was in the 60s. Okay, I said, I, didn't, I don't remember Who the scene that, that well. I, I, was, I saw it online somewhere. Oh, no, it wasn't. So, um, I, I didn't remember the scene that well. I remember reading that. Like, really? What the fuck? No, okay. they said that was the 60s. Good, because... I, I, I would like, love to see more more movies. Actually, Peyton Reed said he, he would love to go back and do a prequel. Not a prequel, but like a, a 60s Hank Pym as Ant-Man like action movie like that. Like... Yeah, but you can't have, like, Michael Douglas. No, not for an extended period of time. He did look really good, the, the CGI they used in for, the beginning of the movie. For 89. That looks pretty good, though. Yeah, but, like, do you remember what Michael Douglas looked like in 89? Not like that. I mean, it, 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 that was right around when he did, he did, like, Basic Instinct. Yeah. You know? Like, I would have banged him back then. <laughs> I'd probably bang him I think him I did do it. Yeah, probably. Just you were... I was three. I you were three. Fuck. Almost three. <laughs> I gave him all three. That's called uh, all three what? Inches. All three ninjas. Inches? inches. That's called. That's all that's I have today. But I gave him it then. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. This is a sex crime. Yeah. Good job. Shh. Weird. Don't tell anybody. Um, well, I mean, on on a scale of, well, I was thinking we should do. There. We should come There's back. No table when, there. We should. Oh yeah, there is no table there. Sorry. Yeah, that's. Uh, I already spilled beer on it. Because we're, we have this here. Yeah, it's a gap. sorry. Um, I was thinking we should do a phase um, order one day. A what? Phase one and two uh, order. You know how we did the Marvel movies order? Oh, so we're doing oh, that order, order the phases. Not now. 
Okay. But at some point. But okay, what were you going to well, ask? Well, no, explain. Like, like your favorite order. Go to the phase phases? one. Which one do you think? The, what do you think the best movie in order is? In, in order for, for, from for phase, phase one, one and then, then for phase, phase two. two. Oh, like that. Okay. I thought yeah. you meant like which which phase you like better. Like, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. That's so what fine. were you going to say about, what were you going to say one to ten or one to five? What were you going to say? Or where I put this in a Marvel movie? No, I mean, um, like we're, we're, as far as the the hero, like, like how do you how do you rate him? Is a hero? Like, I mean, the, 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 he was like, an anti-hero, obviously. Like he was, you're rooting, f- not well, not anti. No, I guess it's not a definition of anti-hero. I guess I was just saying because he was in prison. But um, what were we gonna? I, maybe I'm not even understanding your question. No, I mean like 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 Paul Rudd in the role, like yeah, Ant yeah, Man. Yeah. Like oh yeah, you? I liked him. I liked yeah. him. He's cocky. He's funny. He's like he hasn't shown. He's definitely you definitely saw the. Um, from what I've seen of Ant Man on cartoons and whatever other movies and stuff like that, I've only I think it's mostly been Pym. It's mostly yeah. And the cool thing with the Pym stuff is he's always been a hothead. And you saw him blow up a few times. You saw him lose his cool a few times with his daughter. Mostly, I want to see him beat his wife. Yes, I was gonna say yeah. that. Yeah. What about uh, Rudd's little buddy there? I can't think of his name. Michael picture. Pena. Yeah, he was horrible. <laughs> I was gonna say the opposite. I, I thought, thought he, was, he he was bad, but I thought I thought he was bad. In I a thought good it was way. yeah. I thought it was. A, I thought it, I thought he was like charming, not charming, uh, but like just, you know what I mean. Like he was like funny. I thought it was funny. I, I, I know people <laughs> I like that. I think <laughs> you think that charming and horrible are synonyms. <laughs> I thought it added like a little bit of. Aren't they? A little bit of like pulled you out of the film. A little less than Jar Jar Binks, maybe. Jar Jar Banks is a really good, like, comparison. Yeah. Very Jar Jar. Except um, Jar Jar had more to do. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, however, I did like, I did like the two other sidekicks, the Russian one and the black guy. Ti. Oh, the other Russian one. He was. Um... That was Ti. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the it was rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. I liked him enough. What did you think of the um, of his ex-wife's husband? Uh, I like him in everything he's done except that. Yes. Yes, I agree. I agree because when I saw him, I was like, "What the fuck is he doing in this movie? He does not fit at all in this no, type of film." He, he was badly written, though. That's not he his was, fault. He was, yeah, no, he, he was, he was, he's been, he's been, he was great in Boardwalk Empire and whatnot, like, and everything else he's done, he's been fantastic. I was shocked that he was in this, and I was like, he does not fit. I like seeing Avon Barksdale too. <gasps> That's who that was. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! I was watching the movie and I went, "Who the fuck?" Is that guy? I'm like, I know him from something. I know him from something. And then, guess the wire. Oh my god, that's amazing. He just got hired in something else recently too. I'm trying to remember what it was. Yeah, the other. I think the the the, the other funny thing was like, it's like they're basically gonna try to arrest Hank Pym for breaking out Scott Lang, mm-hmm. right? And someone steals their police car. What's more important? A stolen cop car, or Rearresting a fugitive of justice that's conspiring. Most with cop cars have weapons. Mm, yeah, good point. Like a shotgun and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess mm-hmm. that's a good point. So, uh, I don't know. That's tough. Quick aside, uh, Avon Barksdale, otherwise known as Wood Harris, uh, is going to be in Creed. Really? I don't know who's playing. But I heard the tr- that people are supposed to be excited about that. Yeah, a lot of people are. Have you seen any trailer for it? We'll do the uh, Human Torch. Creed. Still on Soul Creed. Human Torch is supposed to play no, Creed's son, right? Yeah. I didn't even know it was out. I didn't know it was trailer. There's a trailer, but it's not out yet. I don't think it's out till November. I don't know. But, um. I, I don't know where, where I would rank Ant Man on, um, on the scale right now, but. I, I don't think I'd rank it low. I, 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 you know what? Maybe I have to wait a couple of days. Like I saw it today, right? Yeah. I think I want to. I definitely want to see it again. It's an easy movie to digest. It's an a easy, very easy, easy movie yeah. to watch. Like, I think even though, I, I know Carrie all the, all the time. She was like, "This looks stupid. This looks stupid. This looks stupid." Yeah, but 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 she's watching Mob Wives. She may like it. She may find it charming. Or... If she does, I'll hate it. Fine. What? So did you like it? Yes. Okay. No, I, I liked it. I thought it was uh, it was very watchable. It was nowhere near the best, but no, something I would watch again. I wouldn't go. Marvel's to, gonna have to have sidesteps. I don't think I'd go spend like another fourteen dollars on it in the theaters. Oh no way! But I, I would no definitely way. watch it again. No I, I yeah, I totally watch it again. I'd watch it again with you guys while drinking a whole lot of beer. Yeah, which is once it comes out on Blu-ray, we should do that. It's probably gonna happen anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Sean's gonna go, 
Commentary. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, you're going to say it, though. Probably at some point. Was there a Stan Lee cameo? Of course. Yes. Um, he... Wasn't he a security guard or something? No, no one of the else. running jokes in the movie was Michael Pena's character would explain something, and then they would cut to the scene of him explaining what, what happened, but it would be the other characters like showing what happened, but it would still be his voiceover, so when somebody talked, he would just be voicing over it. And Stan Lee was a bartender and said something, and yeah, so yeah, Stan Lee was in it. Um, actually, end credits, what'd you think? First, first, first after credit sequence? Which was? Uh, the first one was Pim showing his daughter Hope. Oh, that, right, uh, the, the, the wasp suit. The prototype wasp suit. Actually, well, speaking of, the original wasp suit, we, we actually got to see a quick, quick bit of it. Wasp in action, which was kind of cool, and she went micro, and then she could still be out there but yeah so Hope now is going to have the new Wasp suit and they said we're actually not going to see it in Civil War so what? we're not going to see it in Civil War but we are going to see her oh okay she's as in... Wasp she, we will see her in the Marvel Universe but not in Civil War okay, at some fair. point we're going to see her but apparently yeah we, we were definitely getting Ant-Man in Civil War um, he's going to have a somewhat I guess upgraded suit they said not as upgraded I don't understand. I've read articles. They're like, yeah, it's from the set photos. It looks a little different. And I can't find this fucking set photo. So I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. Okay. But um, second was um, uh, Cap, uh, oh, yeah, Falcon, yeah. and well, actually, the scene opens up on um, Bucky in you know, his, his uh, bionic arm and a vice. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Cap comes in with Falcon and. and they're basically just talking about how they got him and what 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 they can do and he's like we should have just called Stark and Cap's like I don't want to get him involved with this right now or anything happened and he's like and then uh, Mackie's like I think I know somebody which I don't even know if that makes I guess in the they didn't really give us context to that scene mm-hmm. because it's just you know Winter Soldier is fucking bionic arm and a vice and Anthony Mackie's like I know someone like what, what 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 would this one time that you fought this dude that can shrink do for you right now well we'll find out right maybe it's some reason maybe there's like nanotech or something like that that he has to go in there and dismantle well we'll see right yeah well um this is gonna be hopefully actually a- no, but no but before we stop the Ant-Man stuff real quick I have one question for you yeah um, Thor 1, Thor 2 better or worse? better than both okay, that's all I wanted to know the, the, the first Thor movie is middling to fair the second Thor movie is like kind of a bad movie I mean it, it's not good at all that's all I wanted to hear what, better what, than Winter Soldier? what? Ant-Man? yeah no no Oh, you didn't like Winter Soldier. I, I thought about that asking you. I know no, 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 no. I didn't know your opinion. I didn't hate Winter Soldier. I, it, it, I was just disappointed. Okay, okay. That's all I wanted to ask. Because it, the trailer made it look better than Avengers. It was not better than Avengers. No. 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 I think it was better than Avengers 2, maybe. No, nope, I think... No, Ooh. Avengers 2 is better. I don't know. I have to rewatch it again. We're not going to get... You have to watch it again. It's, we it's can't get into the discussion now. No, yeah, we're not yeah. gonna, well, this is another... Yeah. All right, um, um, but go on. Yeah, so this is going to be like sort of our new format. We're going to try to keep the podcast to be um, about an hour or so. Hour, hour fifteen. If if we hit an hour fifteen, we're gonna just try to kill it. Yeah. Um, if we have longer, longer, we're gonna try to cut it into two episodes, which will probably be reserved for uh, commentaries. If we have extra burps of Josh. Yep. <laughs> um, that type of stuff. Um, in regards to Nerd Sense listens, um, we got some. So, as you know from last week, we got we started this new equipment stuff, um, and we got we posted the last episode onto a Reddit, uh, well, basically r slash podcasting. In r slash podcast, we did a cross post um, asking for feedback. And the first post was, you know, a normal troll, blah, 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 you guys suck, whatever. And we got a pretty good amount of feedback from, from one of the, someone actually listened, went back and listened to a few of our episodes. A really, some really yeah, good constructive, really constructive criticism. Yeah, constructive Like, it, it was somewhat negative, but you know what? It, Mike, Mike and I pretty much agree with all of it. Like, um, he said our audio was good, except for a few times he heard um, some flanging, which I'm not really sure. Flanging is sort of like a... Um... Yeah, it's sort of like a whying effect. Yeah, I went back and listened, and I didn't hear it. 
I'm I don't know if it's maybe this maybe it is the fridge. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Well, we're gonna have to. Uh, maybe we can move the fridge next week and move it into the other room because we don't we don't need it next to us. It is nice to have the beer right there, but yeah. um, that that wasn't even the biggest one. The the biggest was he was making a comment how we're way too fucking long. We are. We're, we're, we were way long. We usually have, I, on average, we're an hour, 45 minutes probably. Yeah. Two hours is pretty good for us too at times, which we have. We just got to keep it lower. Um, and while he was commenting on the length, he made a point. He was like, then in episode two, you said something along the lines of, I went back and listened to episode one, and uh, and, you were, and you were like, I didn't listen to the whole thing. Fuck it. And I was like, I didn't say that in episode two two because episode two we did a commentary on 1966 batman and episode one was the 1989 batman commentary and i was like that was like fucking a year ago i realized we were, were he was looking at he was listening to the nerd sense listens episode which was 36 minutes so mm-hmm. we did a really poor job at separating the two different podcasts i think we got a little ahead of ourselves in thinking that we had enough content <laughs> content or even a listener base and we're like oh let's spin off another fucking podcast and do uh, another whole separate thing on just music which is a, probably a good idea if we had more listeners or well, well we we had a reason why we we're going to do it i'm not going to get into the, all the specifics now but but um and, and i think we did have it separate enough but i don't think um for someone coming into it blind it, it makes sense. You look at the site, and we say episode thirty-five, episode thirty-four, which is last week's episode, blah blah blah. And then the episode, and right before that, it says Nerd Sense Listens episode two. So, I guess if they read it, if I read it, I would think Nerd Sense, Nerd Sense Listens. I would not. But if you scroll down a little bit further, he would have saw episode thirty-three, right? Yeah, but if you look at like, um, it could just be an episode title. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, so there's confusion. I mean, I understand. So definitely, I think we definitely confused um, some people. So um, since. We've only done two listens episodes in the span of four months. We're going to, um, well, actually, for anyone that doesn't know, listens is our music podcast. Mike and I would review two albums per episode, and it was only we kept it around thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try to do it. Have we decided we're going to do it once a month or every other episode? We'll we'll do it every once a month. I I, I don't have the yeah. the yeah the need to listen to new music. So one ever. episode a month. On the regular, so we're gonna kill listens um, for now. For now, you know what? If, if if we get more feedback and better, yeah, then maybe we will split it off again. But for now, uh, once a month, we're going to add a segment on every Nerd Sense uh, podcast for we're gonna review one album. Right. We just discuss it. It'll be like probably five ten minutes. Yeah. So you it, hope. We hope. Um, it, it could be no. It, it's just, it's gonna be once a month. It could it could be the main section of the podcast. Um, depending on how much we want to talk about it. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can keep this format a little better. We obviously like talking longer because We're we just really, shoot uh, the shit, but I think that a lot of times people don't really want to hear us. We, we I think that a lot of times we told a lot of personal stories, which is fine, but I don't think anyone really gives a shit too much about it. We're not it. famous enough for people to care about our personal lives. Yeah, like we don't need to tell. I am. And my brother's a moron. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, we're gonna try to keep the podcast sort of like segmented. Like we have the news and like. Yeah, I, we're I, gonna have a try to segment. So um, I also launched a new beer section for the website. Um, right. It's basically just another page that has anything beer related. So right now it's got um, all my old old school beer reviews when I used to have beer of the month like years ago when I first started the website. Uh, before the podcast, like before the podcast, and then it has um, a post about when Mike and I brewed a couple weeks back. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what we're also going to try to do is um, instead of just putting the beers we drank, we're going to try to actually put a put maybe a star review or at least just a couple tasting notes. Yeah, of course. Um, like we'll probably put the tasting notes of. Uh, there's, not, there's no, no tasting notes. There's no tasting notes. We'll put the tasting it's notes. Like P and we'll put the tasting notes of um, Night Shift up there. But um, tasting notes for the the taste test tonight. We'll we'll just put the results. I right, um and before last comment about this, the more I drink it, the more I like it. Yeah, me too. So it's getting like more and more like. Delicious. I'm wondering if it's because because you know how stouts when they get warmer, I think it's warming up. And I think I still have the taste of pee in my mouth from mm, yeah those shitty pills. Probably probably pee yeah. 
<laughs> Probably pee. Tastes like pee. Tastes like pee. Um, All right. Well, I don't think oh, that's there's so anything... different. What'd you do? I went from this to this. Why would you do that to your mouth? I don't know. Uh, Josh switched from the night shift uh, to a Budweiser. <clears throat> yeah. On purpose. You're weird. Um, also, um, if if honestly, I know we've said this multiple fucking times. If anyone's listening, <laughs> anyone. If, if anyone cares, would anyone be curious to see? Um, if we had like you know extra music in the middle i know we have a music intro like like literally special segments like i don't know these segments like this like tasting segment could could have been something kind of neat in the middle like oh, like a jingle the jing- yeah jingle yeah anything like that just just feedback just hit us on facebook google plus um twitter anything just let us know you're listening <laughs> <laughs> tell us you're listening by noticing that I just dropped Please. the cap on the and table then also the also everywhere. also Jesus tell us which which mic sounded the best this is a blind taste test for all of you because you don't know which mic we're using well should we tell our which name is nope they nope. just pick one name they don't know who's who they don't know me well I'm Sean I'm Josh and I'm Josh's brother retard Mike I'm wondering what, what Mike Ray's coming through. Probably Mike's. It still sounds pretty good. Probably all. Like, even though it sounds far away, it sounds like a lot better. If, if we were using the original mic sitting yeah. there, he would never be heard. He would he would completely be heard. Not never heard, but he would have heard a lot further away. Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, um, um, that's, that's the end of, of today's podcast. I'm Mike. I'm Sean. And, and this, this is, is Nerd Sense. Sense. Dicks. Yeah, so, so Josh, tell me, like, what do you think when you're doing dicks, and then you kind of interject? I like all dicks. I like big ones, small ones, ones the size of my head.